It's been about a month since I acquired the BR05 Great Steel from Bell and Ross, and I think now is the perfect time to share my initial impressions of it. While Bell and Ross is best known for its large modern aviation and dive watches, I noticed the new BR05 collection soon after its release back in 2019. Though a brand new design, it has deep roots in its own brand DNA. Now that I have one in my collection, I will share some thoughts on how the timepiece meets my expectations and what exactly I like about it. In the second half of the video, I will also show you how I style it with different looks. The release of the BR05 collection back in September 2019 was the Bell and Ross response to the already hot market of steel sports watches. By marrying basic modern sports watch design with the brand's existing visual language of its BR01 collection, the new line dedicated to a sophisticated urban style was created. The BR05 Great Steel model features a 40mm square case on an integrated steel bracelet. The screw elements at each corner of the case are consistent with the brand's iconic two watch design, inspired by the cockpit, adding the perfect detail to the vertically brushed steel case. Though certainly reminiscent in many aspects to the modern steel sports watch design, the BR05 still has a clear Bell and Ross identity. Inside the BR05 is the BR Calibre 321, which is a rebadged version of Sarita SW300 made to Bell and Ross specs. The SW300 is then effectively an equivalent of the EAT 2892-2. What Bell & Ross has done to really advance the aesthetic of the movement is the full display case bag with a fully matte blasted movement. The 10.7mm thick case wears thinner than I expected and sits perfectly under the cuff which I will show you later. The slightly small screw down crown is a bit difficult to use. It's hard to grab at times especially when I'm trying to screw it back in. But a plus with regards to the smaller crown is it doesn't make the follow millimeter case feel clunky. At a $4,900 retail price point, the movement you are getting isn't the best value. But if you are comparing the design to APs or Pateks, the BR05 is far more obtainable. What I really love about this watch is how everything comes together nicely and fits in my day-to-day -day activities. Now let's talk more about the style. If I had to lace out the top 3 design aspects I love the most about the BR05, they would be the square case, sunburst grey dial, and the integrated bracelet. If you have seen my watch collection video, then you know I already have an Oyster Perpetual 36 with a grey dial. The main reason I didn't mind getting another grey dial is because of the BR05's square shaped case. In my opinion, the combination of the square case and the integrated bracelet really brings out the elegance of the 70s vintage aesthetic. Yes, a 40mm square case is much bigger than a 40mm rounded case, but it doesn't throw off the design at all. Bell & Ross typically makes large square instrument watches, and even brands like Cartier make large and extra large sizes for watches like Santos Dumont. Don't forget where Bell & Ross positioned the BR05 collection in its existing lineup. There's already Pilot, Diver, and Racing watches, and now the BR05 fits in the new category, Urban. Knowing that the brand's DNA is in making large, square 2 watches, this hybrid version feels a bit dressed up, but it's still clearly Bell & Ross. Does the 40mm case feel clunky on my wrist? No, not really, and that's a bit surprising. On my 6 inch wrist, the BR05 wears comfortably, and I enjoy the feel of it throughout my everyday activities. I have to say, it fits perfectly within the urban scenarios. Here, I'm wearing a brown merino wool sweater, and the grey dial really helps to elevate the overall look. I can't speak enough about how versatile the grey dial is. I think it can go with any look and still easily be the highlight. I mentioned earlier how the integrated bracelet with the square case makes the BR05 a dressier luxury watch. So it's a no-brainer to pick this timepiece when I feel like dressing up for a special event. In this second look, I'm wearing a grey suit. 
The gray on gray combination makes the overall look very cohesive and understated but sharp. It's hard to ignore the timepiece when it's in motion. The reflection from the bracelet, which is designed with brushed edge links and polished rectangle connection links, can still easily be spotted from a distance. The 10.7mm thick case sits nicely under the cuff and doesn't feel bulky by any means. I have to say, the finishing of the watch is definitely the most impressive feature of the PR05. Every inch of the timepiece is well considered. Not too dressy, not too sporty, the design of the BR05 falls somewhere in between that is particularly suited to my lifestyle. The watch itself is a chameleon, looking dressier when I dress up and sportier when I dress down. Different looks bring out the different qualities of this timepiece. I'd say it's an everyday watch made luxury. In the month I've been wearing this watch, I haven't found an outfit it doesn't go with. Even on those slow days when I'm just lounging around at home and wearing a hoodie, I still like putting on the BR05 and enjoying its quality and design. That's all of my thoughts and impressions about the Bell & Ross BR05 so far. As I have said before, the whole collection caught my attention as soon as it was released because I thought it was the missing category that Bell & Ross needed to reach an even broader audience. At least, I have certainly become a fan because of the BR05. Personally, I think it's a very attractive watch that can easily fit into anyone's collection.